Hi all, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying this March Brown Cripple I'll also work for the Brook Buns as well later in the season Very very good fly uh, Well worth carrying some As always we'll put materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel get access to the monthly tying classes and into the giveaways you can also watch the whole video, share it, like it, comment, that all helps the channel. So I've got my hook my vise. This is a Camazan B170, size 12. You can use a dry fly hook if you like, but I quite like the 170s for these. And I've run on some rusty done thread, brown, grey, anything like that will do. I'm going to tie in some tails and I'm using bronze mallard nice dark well marked fibre and it's soft so it will allow the back end of the fly to pierce the film and go under and I've got maybe five six fibres here at the most and I'm going to let them be about a shank length. So just try ch change them over and run up. Catch them off. Now, to sort of accentuate the trailing or accent the trailing chuck, I'm going to get a couple of strands of angel here. Just plain pearl. I've maybe got, I don't know. You don't want too many, like three or four at the most. I'm going to catch them right up here and fold them back and just sort of spread them and tie them and let these sort of cloak that um, bronze mallard. And then come up and we'll just trim them so they're about half the length. And they sit around that there. So it just gives that wee bit of flash at the back. Just catches the light. The body, which is first from a hair's mask. I like to just tear it off. Mix it up. Get it on and don't be, don't go crazy, you know. I mean, a March Brown is quite a big fly, but you don't want to overdo it. So just get that started. Just build. Oh, it come up about two thirds of the way, roughly. That's my, my abdomen length. That's fine, no rib. Now for the wing, I'm using roe ro deer um, with a dark tip. You can use CDC, you can use poly yarn, you can use snowshoe rabbit, you can use whatever you like. Um, but I like this, this roe. Got a decent wee bunch, probably a wee bit more than I need because I've got to clean it. Get all the rubbish out of the bottom. And then I'll get it in the stacker. Then take it out of the stacker in the way that it's going to be facing. So we've got the tips facing towards the front of the fly. So you don't need to try to turn it. Length of the wing, length of the body, at the front. So just tie that in. And I'm not really fussed about the front, I'm just holding on to the back and going to wind it to the end of my thorax. See how we're sitting. 
that looks okay. It'll come in and I'll trim this quite short, leaving just the stumps as a sort of collar. Now if you've got, this is rolled a wee bit on me, but it's fine. I'm just going to sort of pull it up, take a couple of wraps forward, just tighten it into place, and I'll lift it and take a gathering wrap. And there you go, that's that wing, it's no longer on the underside of the hook. Hackle, I'm using a sort of, it's a grizzle, but it's a sort of light grizzle. It's not a cree, it's, but the bar, in, well, there's actually a kind of, because it's a sort of, a, a furnace section there, it's not a, a top of the line saddle it's from. It's quite a low grade saddle, but the, I like this colour. Well, the grizzle's not actually black, it's a sort of browny colour. But it's up to you, you know. Bar ginger's very good. Uh, Cree would be good, just a plain ginger. Oh, what's fine. Get that tied in. I'm going to take a wee bit more dubbing. Show my hair's mask. Just to coat the thorax. You need very little. That's loads. And I'll stop my thread, I'll put my thread in front of the wing. Then I'm just going to wind my hackle. And you can let the hackle be slightly long. And this is sort of on the edge of what you would say a size 12 hackle should be. But I, it's fine because there's a good chance you'd be trimming it on the water anyway. When you get your thread, come up under make sure that you tie the hackle stem down, a good two or three turns. Got a couple in front. That locks it in place. Now you can probably just keep your thread tight, snap that away. Then we'll just do this by hand because I find that a wee bit easier. I'll just lift everything up, put a hot finish in. Take away the thread. And that's it. As I say, I would leave it like this and then you can trim the underside if you feel you need to when you're on the water or you can use your, if you use a paste floating you can sort of just stroke the fibres up to get it to sit flush. It's a really good pattern. Um, Marks Browns, as I say, book buns, well worth having. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up below and I'll see you for another video. Tight lines guys, bye!